That's for up to the house price, so you can put the stick on. Hold it up to the side. Hold it up to the side as well, please. Do you have any on bookshelves? Or? Yeah, we're going to go to the shelf in a minute. So, Who's next? How many books? Just here. I, I want to be able to paint the picture myself, see it for myself, and then be able to say, okay, yes, maybe things have changed or maybe the person has matured. But if I just read in the newspaper, I don't think I'll be satisfied just hearing because each newspaper gives a totally different picture. So if you see the American interviews, the, even the two interviews that I've seen from the Americans gives me a totally different picture of the same person. So I really want to be able to read his words Compare with the speeches he's made before, when he was talking about mental health, compared with how he saw life as a military person, really, really committed to the nation. I'm excited just to hear about Prince Harry's life from Prince Harry. That's my most excitement because Honestly, I live in the UK and when I put on the radio, all the TV, so if I work at home three days a week, I put on the TV and these morning time TV shows, these daytime shows, without fail, every single day of the week, there's some kind of panel discussion or public calling about some outrage that Prince Harry has caused. So I'd like to get my books when they're on their radio shows. I can, you know, call in, text in, send a tweet and say, actually, that's not right. I've got the book here. Page XYZ, mm, you're lying. You've twisted it. You've misconstrued it. You're, um, what's the word? You're fooling the public. So for me, it's more about there's so much misinformation, disinformation about Harry and Meghan.